Yo, what's going on guys? It's Bora by me and today I'm going to show you how you can enable and disable cheats internally through the Dolphin app on Xbox. This method will only work for your Nintendo Wii games. So in this video, the two main things you need is this Wii SD file and the homebrew channel. If you already have the homebrew channel, then don't worry about it. But if you need it, please, in this video, I'll be using the USB method. All right, so what you want to do is plug in your USB and open up your Dolphin folder. Go into the load folder. And then if you already have a Wii SD file, what you could do is either rename it if it's important, or you could simply delete it and then drag this new one right into it. I already have it, so I'm not going to do it. And then make sure to drop the homebrew channel into your Wii games folder. And then once you do that, we're going to head over to the Xbox, open up Dolphin, and go into the homebrew channel. All right, bet once Dolphin opens up, all you got to do is head into the homebrew channel. All you got to do is head over to USB Loader GX, click load. Alright Ben, once we get into USB Loader GX, what you got to do is head down to the settings and open it. Go into the loader settings. Head over to the scroll. And we're going to go down. And then once you see Ocarina, make sure to turn it on. And then you can head back. Head back. Alright, so we're going to change the disc and make sure to pick the game you want to do this for. And then once you select your game, make sure to close the quick menu. And then give it a second, you should get a pop-up. It should say disc insert detected. All you got to do is click cancel. And then the tabs on the top, all the way on the right side, right here, where it shows the disc icon, make sure to select this. And then give it a moment to load. And then once this happens, all you got to do is head over to the settings. Click on Ocarina. And then from here, you should see all the cheats. If you want to update it, you could click on update and it should update the latest cheats. And then all you would have to do is click on which ones you want to activate. And then make sure to click on create so that it creates the file for the cheats to be active. And then once you do that, head on back. And then you can start your game and enjoy your cheats. I hope this video helped. If it did, please leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, hit that follow for more content.